In today's episode, a monster truck will be confused. A Honda will be suspicious. And a train will break the sound barrier. Did you know that the new Porsche Taycan first needs to be inflated before you can drive it? Ok, no seriously, I suppose this is just a method used to remove wraps quicker and with less risk of damaging the paint. Side effects include swelling and booty formation. What engine would you put into an old Opel? A bigger V6? Maybe a V8? Nope. This guy put a Dodge Viper V10 engine into his Opel. This may be the peak of sleeper cars. Engineers constantly try to shed weight from cars to improve handling, brake performance and fuel economy. What if you get rid of the car and just ride the engine? Isn't this peak efficiency? <laughs> By now, we all know that the loudest cars are those with an exhaust sticking out in the front and missing a front bumper. How many cylinders does this car have? Listen closely. If you said 8, you are wrong. For some reason, the Audi S8 sounds like a big block American muscle car, even though it has a V10 under the hood. I think it's the third time in the series you can see someone's first reaction to a top fuel drag race, but it's still equally funny to watch it like the first time. You know that whatever you drive is powerful if it starts raining fire near you. On a serious note, this is a over 100 year old steam tractor pulling modern equipment with style. The stuff on fire raining around it is just burning sawdust. Every time I see this, I kind of regret not doing this to my Miata. This is a Volvo T5 swap Miata. If you think about it, it makes a lot of sense and the noise fits the car more than a V8. Truck and tractor pulling seems like a safe hobby, right? All you do is drive straight while towing something. Well, on some occasions, stuff like this can happen. From steering control snapping to wheels just falling off, everything goes. This is a rally car that you definitely have never seen before, a V8 powered one at that. This is the Chevrolet Firenza can -Am. It may also be the loudest rally car I have seen on the internet so far, though the only thing lacking may be the brake performance. <laughs> This 
is Backwards Bob. No, it's not a nickname for some redneck. This is a monster truck imitating a Ford F-150. Nothing special, right? Well, the backwards in its name stands for, you know, everything being backwards. Anyways, this thing driving around just looks mind-blowing. Notice the tailgate being transparent so the driver has more visibility. Do some push ups. Brake failures are scary. You know what is even scarier? Brake failures on racetracks. During a NASCAR race at Indianapolis, the brakes on Kyle Larson's car failed, which led to him slamming into Ty Dillon at full speed. Luckily, both drivers made it out without injuries. Sort of mechanical issue on the five car for him. Look at that. He is flying when he comes in there. So I heard him say, wow. I have a pedal, which. Looking back now, maybe he didn't have brakes and now he does have brakes. That's that's the one thing that seems to make sense. This is a contender for the best V8 sound, the Maserati Quattroporta. Even though it does not fall into the category of reliable, it still has a lovely exhaust note. <laughs> It was even used in the movie Intouchables. The movie director made sure to capture the sound just perfectly. Okay, give me a second to spell out the name of this monstrosity. This is the Dampfschneeschleuder SBB X-Road 100. Basically, this is a giant snowblower that eats through snow somewhere in the Swiss mountains. Even though this looks like a newer train in the front, it is already over 125 years old. What you see here is a quick boiler test. Here is something that looks very cool on paper, but in the wrong hands it could be very dangerous. This is apparently the world's fastest jack. The way I would go about it is to simply lay down a wheel below the car in case this thing loses pressure, or maybe even two wheels, just to be safe. You know you did a proper job fixing your car when you automatically say, that'll do it. Ow, that one hurt. You got them close. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That'll do. Here is something I am extremely anxious about. No, not my YouTube channel dying. I am scared of hailstorms. From experience, they happen where I live roughly once or twice a year. But one storm is enough to ruin your car. Just like in this video, where a few years ago in Colorado, a hailstorm ruined this car. This is most likely a joke, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone told me that this was an actual feature. Apparently, some cars have a long enough seatbelt so they can be used to push your broken down car. Now, this can be real. Anyways, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if this is legit. Here is the perfect example of why you should slam the gas pedal in your front wheel drive car if you ever find yourself going sideways into the barrier. It's off onto the grass and loses the place back and there's a spinner in the middle and Def Owens keep your foot in, keep your foot in, keep your foot in. That is the only rule of mini racing, keep the throttle applied and let the car pull itself out of trouble and he just survives that one. The grey car with the little, uh, yeah, and then right in front, a big, big moment there for Endaf Owens. Here's a combination that you would never expect to exist, a 1UZ V8 Swap Mazda 6 in China. The 
first generation Honda NSX is a timeless design, but what if you decide to make it a track monster? This is a 650 horsepower Honda NSX built exclusively to smash track records. The grip this car has is mind blowing. <laughs> My Discord server admin lives in a town in Latvia where 12 years ago something rather sad happened. During a rally, a Mitsubishi Lancer crashed into a World War II memorial while coming from a steep uphill road. Everyone was okay by the way. That's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. That doesn't make sense.